Alright guys, and welcome to the final uh, A2A DC about the, what I think is a massive center of gravity issue with this aircraft. Now, as you can tell, I have it on the aft tank. A buddy of mine suggested, well, could it be the, that aft tank and uh, the Mustang portraying some of those really nasty uh, aft CG issues uh, that World War II pilots reported when that aft tank was filled. So you can see here the engine sputtering, and that means that that aft tank is pretty much out of gas. Um, doesn't have anything in it. So we're at 68% fuel right now. The wings uh, have full fuel, as you can see there. And as you can see there, and the, the engine uh, on that aft tank is sputtering, as you can see. So that means that there's pretty much no gas, or it's negligible gas. Now, I've heard numerous reports that about half tank of that aft tank, it's a lot of the CG uh, issues go away. And the pilot's operating handbook does say this aircraft is pretty unstable. So right now, uh, you can see that I'm pushing the nose down. Look how far I have on the bottom left-hand corner. And that's how much I have to push the nose down just to get it to, to level out. And when I, once I let go, that's when the aircraft just kicks up in the air. Okay, So that tells me that the aircraft's nose naturally wants to come up. And that means that the CG is really aft in this aircraft. Now, when I fly a real aircraft, I don't fly a Mustang, I fly a Cessna 172, but when I have passengers in the back, I'm going to have a little bit more, uh, it's going to be a little more stable, and it's not going to require as much back pressure to get it off the ground, because that CG is aft. So I'm very aware of that, but in this aircraft, I need to, I'm pushing down to get, to force the nose down, just to have it level out on takeoff. And that is suspicious. Um, from everything that I know and everything I've read, you maybe nudge the nose down just a little bit, a little bit of pressure, uh, maybe just go neutral, and the nose should naturally come down as you take off. So uh, I'll meet you in a little bit as we approach the landing here. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just setting up the final approach, and you can see that I'm throwing down full flaps, I got the gear down, and we're kind of ready to go. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm trimming for that 1% down, which was what Yo-Yo suggested on the forums, and uh, I've heard that, you know, the A2A A to A suggested as well. And I'll demonstrate how much nose down this thing. I just let go of the stick, and look how far the uh, nose wants to come down. So I'm literally holding the stick back try to prevent that from happening. But this is exactly how much down force you need from the trim to keep the nose on the ground. And you'll see here that I'll do a landing. And that is how much nose down trim, that extreme amount of nose down trim you need to actually keep this thing on the ground. Okay, so that's just to show that I can do a two-point landing, no problem, but it's just not an accurate representation of what an aircraft should feel like. Uh, you should be able to go neutral on the stick, and the nose should stick to the ground, but you need all of that downward pressure to keep the nose from coming up. Now, the fact that this is so cro close to neutral, it's only 1% down, and that the nose is going down that much, shows that something's off, uh, and I think it's this, the CG is just really, really, uh, really, really off of this aircraft. Okay, so I'll come back for another landing, and this the next time I'll trim it out for a normal landing, so I'm not holding pressure on the control stick. Alright, so here I am, a final approach. I got full flaps down, I got the gear down, and I'm just setting up for a normal landing. Now you can see I have 5 degrees nose up, 
uh, just to pretty much trim the aircraft out, trim out all the pressures so I'm not holding back pressure or forward pressure or anything like that. And I'm just going to try a normal landing. Uh, as soon as I touch down, normal procedure is to neutralize the stick core, let it go forward just a little bit and watch what happens. Bounce. And very gentle touchdown, put the stick on neutral, and there's a bounce. And again, and now I'm kind of overcorrecting because I'm in a pilot induced oscillation at this point. And so I'm back in the air here. And I'm going to try to bring it down just very gently again here. And again, another bounce. Got smoke come off the tires there. About 13 foot bounce back in the air. So this is with it trimmed out to where I'm not holding pressure. And just notice how the aircraft reacts here. And at the last part here, I'm going to force the nose down, force it to come down. Okay, so there I'm pushing down and hit the propeller on the ground, unfortunately. But uh, I am pushing down on the stick to try to keep the nose down. So I really think this is a aft CG issue. And uh, unfortunately, this aircraft has a great flight model. There's so many good things to say about the DCSP-51. Uh, unfortunately, it just has this issue with CG. And if that aft tank is completely empty and there's no fuel in it, there's no reason why it should be demonstrating some of these uncharacteristic uh, aft CG instability and nose up uh, attitude. It just feels like there's a ton of weight back there that uh, this is simulating, uh, and it just is completely unstable. The only time I've ever heard of aircraft experiencing such aft instability like this is when they're so overloaded and so outside of normal center of gravity limitations that you can't even have a normal take.